Good morning, everybody. UGC has given uh, press information uh, from the government of India by uh, universities and colleges um, and measures for maintenance of standards in higher education. So this, uh, this circular has been highlighted the minimum qualification requirement of the appointment of teachers in the universities and also the colleges uh, in higher education. It has been mentioned that a PhD degree will be mandatory for direct recruitment to assistant professors in universities, which is uh, uh, effective from uh, 1st uh, July 2021, as per Sri Prakash uh, Javed Dekha. Uh, that has been given on the date 13th June 2018. So this, this uh, mandatory condition is effective from 1st July 2021. In order to attract and retain the best quality teachers and others uh, academic staff in universities and colleges. So this, is, this has been given by Union Minister for Human Resource Development, uh, Sri Prakash Javadekar while addressing media persons in New Delhi. Uh, that is being highlighted as per the regulations uh, mentioned here. Uh, the incentives to teachers as provided in the earlier regulations of 2010 and subsequent amendments have been retained. Uh, these include incentives for MPhilar, MPhilar PhD. And as per API based PBAS system has been removed. That means API score that has, that has been removed. No API score is not required. And also a new simplified teacher evaluation grading system has been introduced and research score uh, added for universities to improve research output. So this is uh, the second point, you know. The third point here, promotion criteria under CAS for university teachers has been made more research oriented while in case of college teachers, CAS criteria is more focused on teaching. And I'll keep that, uh, what is the CAS criteria and all in a uh, separate uh, video uh, that is for your additional information. For the first time provision for promotion in colleges will be up to professor level. And also the specified provision uh, for recruitment of assistant professors in universities and colleges for PhD degree holders uh, from a university or institution in the top 500 uh, global rankings has been made. So but because of that is special provision uh, for the standard number of colleges. And uh, as per the sixth point here, the regulations mandate introduction of uh, one uh, month in induction program for newly recruited uh, assistant professors in universities or colleges or higher education institutions. And the seventh point is more important, you can just remember here, PhD degree has been made mandatory uh, for promotion to assistant professor, that is selection grade, in colleges from 1st July 2021. So this is more important point. And PhD degree will be mandatory for direct recruitment to assistant professors in universities, that is effective from 1st July, 2021 so that uh, here in this point you know the people who are pursuing phd uh, try to complete uh, within the stipulated time of making deadline is a compulsory requirement uh, by july you must uh, you must be awarded a phd uh, for the first time weightage uh, weightages are assigned for cas in respect of MOOCs and uh, e content in universities and colleges this is eight point and as per ninth point here, research clusters will be created in the universities within the state for sharing research facilities, skills, and infrastructure to ensure optimal utilization of resources and creating synergies amongst higher education institutions. So the, as per this 10th uh, plan, 10th uh, point here, you can see that, uh, you can see that up to 10% of the existing sanctioned strength of professors in the universities uh, shall be appointed senior professors uh, in the universities. Senior professors in universities will be appointed through direct recruitment and through promotion under CAS. And I'll set this video on CAS criteria. 
universities will accord permission and provide need based facilities to colleges teachers to supervise phd or mphil scholars and a special category of medical winners of olympics asian games and commonwealth games in uh, eligibility criteria for assistant director assistant director college director physical education and sports and deputy director physical education and sports in universities has been made to promote sports in universities and colleges compulsorily so in sports and games are also uh, given first uh, importance for the uh, assistant director and the college director uh, the sport and physical education is also mandatory in all the colleges as per 12th point here and also here the the most important uh, note is that uh, this is more important here phd degree shall be mandatory requirement for direct recruitment to the post of assistant professors in university with the uh, with effect from uh, 1st july 2021 however master's degree with N net national eligibility test or phd here the point is master degree with net or phd that means if you do not have phd um, with uh, with net also acceptable uh, will continue to be the minimum eligibility requirement for direct recruitment to the post of assistant professors in colleges so make sure you must have, of course majority of the people will have master degree but they may not have either net or set uh, so phd so if you have phd without net you are eligible if you are if you are if you have net uh, net and also will be treated as minimum eligibility requirement for the position of assistant professor in the colleges so make sure you just uh, uh, meanwhile you just um, prepare for these of course there are only about uh, uh, six months in 2021 and also in this uh, 2020 you got one more month so that in this seven months gap you try to prepare for net or set and also otherwise if it is possible try to complete phd uh, to get the uh, position of assistant professor in your workplace uh, thank you one and all for watching this and also if you want to uh, get some more updates uh, about this uh, and also future job opportunities and personality building and communication development for all these things you just subscribe my channel to get more and more updates from my end thank you one and all for watching this video